All right, you guys, so today we're cleaning out my fridge and doing an extreme clean. If you needed motivation to get your fridge cleaned out, this is the video for you. All right, you guys, so I have to tell you, it's pretty scary in here. Honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed for you to see it, but it's gonna look so good in the end that it's totally worth it. Okay, so my fridge is a mess right now, but we're gonna clean it and it's gonna look great. Every time I do one of these fridge organization videos, you guys ask me where my fridge is from. Let me tell you, my fridge is really old. I just recently this year cracked this piece. Our ice maker is no longer working, but we're planning on redoing our kitchen within a year. So I'm gonna keep it until we redo the kitchen because why not? It still works. So I wouldn't recommend this fridge in any way. Once I get a new one, I'll let you know where that one's from. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove everything from the fridge. I mean, absolutely everything. I'm gonna make a pile of things that I plan on keeping, and then I'm gonna go through anything that could possibly be expired or we're not gonna use anymore and get rid of it. Okay, so this is all cheese. Like, what? Why do we have so much cheese? Why do you have so many jellos? I know, it's embarrassing. Here's the problem is that I will add things to like our grocery cart and Chris adds them, my husband as well. And then we just have overflow stuff. So I told the girl, like we were like, oh my goodness. So the girls were like, well, I guess we don't need Jello for a while. So I think we're good there. The condiments are out of control, but I really don't know how to pare them down. We have so many barbecue sauces, like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't even know how we're gonna store all these, but they're all different flavors. How many barbecue sauces should you have in your fridge? Let me know in the comments. The next thing I'm gonna do is clean my entire fridge. Now this takes a little bit of time to do, but it's so worth it in the end. Now to clean up my fridge, I'm gonna be using the Blue Land Cleaners and I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. Blue Land products are safe and affordable and they're sourced from clean ingredients. And all you need to clean your home is these nickel sized tablets. So let me show you how it works. I grabbed the Clean Essentials Hand Soap Duo Kit and with this kit, you get a multi-surface cleaner, a glass cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and then you also get a hand soap and all you need with these cleaners are these nickel size tablets these nickel size tablets are only two dollars so whenever you need a new cleaner all you have to do is buy the two dollar tablet so you're gonna fill your forever bottle with warm hot water next you're just going to drop in your nickel size tablet one of the cool things about Blue Land is they don't use any single use plastics. So once you buy your forever bottles, the only thing you have to buy after that are the little tablets to add into your cleaners. The products are vegan and cruelty free. They're made without ammonia, VOC, soy nut, chlorine bleach, or parabens. Blue Land is also EPA certified. Instead of buying individual cleaning products, you can buy them in a kit to get 20% off. Plus, I also have a code for you to save 20% off as well, so it's gonna be a great deal. All you have to do is click my link down in the description box to get 20% off your kit. So I'm gonna use the Blue Land Multi-Surface Cleaner and my little blue microfiber towel to start cleaning. This shelf has a lot of food caked on it, so I'm actually gonna take it out and wash it at the sink. So I'm gonna pull this out and then actually go underneath it as well. I take everything out because you never know what's hiding under there. So if you have any tough stains that just won't come out, I like to use this power scrubber. It's like awesome. I'll link to it down in the description box for you. But what you're gonna do is like right here, I have some jelly that's stuck here. I have syrup up here. So I'm gonna spray it on there. Then I'm just gonna use my power scrubber to get it off. 
really easy and then you can just wipe it down with your microfiber towel. So the shelves in my fridge are glass, so I'm actually gonna finish them off with a little bit of glass cleaner. new videos on Mondays and Thursdays, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, so just hit that little red subscribe button. Now, one thing that I think really helps me in my fridge is to organize with acrylic containers. I like the acrylic containers because they're see-through and I can see what's in there, obviously. I grabbed this set off of Amazon. I thought it was a really good deal. It's a six-piece stackable fridge set. I'll link it for you down in the description box. But what I really like about it is I like the larger containers as well as the smaller containers. I'm gonna map out my containers in my fridge, setting them out where I want things to go. I'm going to be putting my most used condiments on that main level because that's eye level for most people and that's where everybody tends to grab those. The ones we don't use as often, I'm gonna put them on the top and bottom. If you like all this motivation to get your house in order for January, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this in the future. So I went to the store and I'm gonna add back in the ingredients and I'm gonna try to make them nice and organized for my family. So in this smaller container, I'm going to put in just jars and different sauces that we use. So this container is all kids stuff. So anything like for the kids' lunches or things we have to grab quickly for them, I'm gonna put in here. So I'm gonna put all of the cheeses and my butter in here. So this container, I'm gonna add in meat and leftovers. So in the bottom drawer, I like to use, I think these are for beverages. I bought them at Dollar Tree, but they fit in my bottom drawer really well and I just divide up the kids' snacks. This is a system that's worked well for us, so I'm gonna keep using it. I love having my veggies and fruit cut up and ready to go in my fridge. I don't know about you, but I feel like I eat them so much more when they're cut and ready to go. I know my kids do as well. So I'm gonna take the time to cut them up right now and put them in the fridge.
Let me know in the comments what area of your house you're getting organized this January. I'd love to know. And if you want to check out Blue Land, I'll put it down in the description box and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.